Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Project Auto YouTube channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. And in today's video, as you can see, we are here with a new radio. So I know it's been a couple of weeks since we made a video. Um, we're still waiting to get the Mazda issue taken care of, but forget about that for right now because this is exciting. So we are going to be doing an unboxing video on the uh, TYT MD 9600 DMR mobile radio. We just received this in the mail yesterday. So today we're going to unbox it for you, show you what comes with it, talk a little bit about the radio. Um, in this video, we're not going to turn it on, power it up or do anything like that because I still have to get it programmed um, and do all that. So that'll be a separate video. We'll program it and get it all set up um, and then we'll get it mounted in the truck. Um, we're waiting on the second radio to come in. Um, so once that comes in, uh, we can do a range test, um, get all this set up. I can show you guys all the cool features, how to program it, all that good stuff. Oh, what happened there? Um, once that other radio comes in, but today we're just going to un box this so without further ado let's get started so like I said this is the TYT DMR which stands for digital mobile radio um, it's the MD 9600 this one has the optional GPS which we'll talk about that in another video um, this is a dual band dual standby and dual display radio and what it means by dual display you can see it just has one screen um, but it shows you both channels um, or zones, whatever you have, um, it'll show two things at once, not just one channel. So you can actually have two channels programmed on the one screen and be able to switch back and forth between the two right then and there. So you don't have to uh, do a lot of switcheroo there. Um, this is a 50 watt VHF and 45 watt UHF. So like I said, it's a dual band, so it does VHF and UHF. Um, it's got a recording function, which we'll talk about that later um, in another video. Dual time slot for repeater, um, for point to point, it's got the group match, single match, and it's got the optional GPS, which was cool. Um, and just so a lot of you radio guys out there know, this is version 3. So this is the newest version of the radio. I know that the uh, first few had issues with um, audio feedback and some popping noises and stuff like this. This is the fully upgraded version 3, so this shouldn't have any issues. But We'll have to wait and find out in another video um, if it does have any issues. So let's go ahead. I'm going to set you guys up right here. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. So when we open up the box here, you can see right up top here is the radio itself. We'll go ahead and pull that out. And we'll just set that off to the side for a moment. And let's get everything else out of the box. So once you pull the radio out and you get this out of the way, um, you have your power supply. Um, so this will connect into the back of the radio and then you have your, if I can find it, you can see right down there, that's the positive and negative, negative uh, wires. You would just hook that up accordingly. Um, we have the speaker microphone here. Well, not speaker microphone, but the microphone. We'll go ahead and set that off to the side for a moment too. And what's cool is this comes with all the hardware you need. So you have the microphone um, attachment. So you would mount this onto the dashboard and you can hook your microphone up into you uh, so that way it doesn't fall off. And this actually has a cool feature on it. I'll show you here in just a second. It's got all the bolts, screws, washers, all the good hardware in there for you. And then of course you have your mounting bracket which will attach to the side of the radio. And then you would mount this up into your dashboard console wherever you'd want to mount it. And that is everything that comes with the radio. These do not come with antennas. So you do have to buy an antenna separate, which we have already done. We've bought two of them. We're just waiting on them uh, to arrive as well as that second radio. So now that we've got everything unboxed, let's go ahead and check everything out. Okay, so here is everything out of the box. We have the radio, power supply, mounting bracket, all of the hardware, the microphone bracket, and the microphone itself. This is what all comes with the radio as well as Whoa. as well as the programming cable and the uh, disc for that programming cable as well. Now another thing that came with the uh, radio was the user manual which I have downstairs um, and it also came with instructions because these radios per the FCC now come locked in certain ways so you have to unlock them to get the full capacity of the uh, frequency range which again that'll be in another video. So let's go ahead and get started with showing you all the cool stuff. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and pull the radio out of the plastic. We'll get that out of the way. Set this off to the side for just a moment. So we don't need to worry about that. Because that'll be in the next video. This is the mounting bracket. Again, we don't have to worry about that right now. You guys don't care until we actually hook that up. This I do want to show you real quick. This microphone mount bracket thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's pretty cool. So if you look right behind it here, you can see there's this spring-loaded um, deal going on there. I'll show you that here. Let me pull this microphone um, out of the plastic here. So when you go to hook up the microphone, it it secures itself in place and if you you can't it's hard to uh, get it out which is good so that way if you're driving and you hit a bump it doesn't just boop, fly off of the uh, bracket so you actually have to give it some good force to come out and that little notch hooks up right into that little notch there so that is cool so it will hold it in place and you don't have to worry about it uh, flopping all over the place while you're driving so that is cool I wanted to show you that and of course it comes with uh, spare inline fuses as well for your uh, power cord. So let me go ahead and pick you guys up here. So here's the microphone. So it's like I said, it's the TYT. You've got your push to talk on the side there. Nice, good tactile feel. I mean, it still feels plasticky and cheap, um, but not too plasticky and cheap. It still feels decent quality. Um, IP54 rating. There's the hookup on the back. Like I said, push to talk. And if you just listen to that, it sounds really good. Um, you have the keypad here on the front. Sorry for the focus there. Um, you have your A, B, C, and D buttons, programmable buttons here. Uh, your volume, um, switch between your A and B bands, your dual bands. Um, and then these all have different functions, which we'll go over um, in another video once we get it uh, programmed. So very nice. Uh, it has some weight to it. It definitely feels um, solid enough. Um, it doesn't feel solid enough to drop it out of a two-story window and expect it to survive, but it does feel good in the hand and it fits, it fits good. I like it. Um, your transmit and receive indicator light here on the microphone as well, which is nice. So it's right there, uh, readily available, and then the microphone uh, right there as well for your voice. So that is cool. So let's go ahead and set this over here for just a second. Let's pull the radio over here. Set this down just because I don't want to scratch it. Yes, I'm weird. So here is the radio itself. Um, they, I was shocked um, when I got it in the mail when it finally came and I, I actually pulled it out of the box before now. Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, I was shocked at the supply at this at the size of it. You know, looking at pictures online, it really doesn't do it justice. Um, you could kind of tell that it was compact, but you really can't tell how compact um, and this is actually really small um, compact and it's very lightweight I mean if you just it's not that thick um, you know it's got it's got decent weight to it but I would say maybe 10 pounds maybe not even that honestly no I wouldn't even say 10 pounds that's probably going over I would say more like five pounds even if that um, so it's very lightweight compact which is cool so this makes it easy to mount in different places you know inside your center console underneath your dash you don't have to worry about this big bulky heavy radio uh poking its ugly head out so let's go ahead and take a look at the front of the radio here so this is one of the reasons why i wanted to get this radio one is it's digital so this is a digital and analog radio um so you have uh digital and analog um you've got your power button here this is your volume and you've got all these programmable buttons down here. So you have four programmable buttons, your emergency button, uh, channel up, channel down, your enter, your band, and then channel knob there. So this is actually for your menu, my bad. Um, and then the microphone would just hook in right there. And boom, it just pops into place. So very cool radio. Um, I'm excited to get this thing hooked up and try it out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. I know it was 
kind of long for an unboxing video. I kind of rambled a little bit, but I'm very excited. I cannot wait to get this thing powered up and get it hooked up and do a range test because that's what I'm excited for. I want to see how far these things can actually reach without a repeater because we don't have a repeater available. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned here coming very, very soon. As soon as the other radio comes in, we'll make a video. We'll get them programmed, um, powered up set to go ready to go um, and then we will do a video mounting it in the truck and then we will do a range test so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for stopping by and if you haven't already be sure to subscribe hit that like button and we'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye